everybody, welcome to the Sim Hanger. My name's Mark. Thanks very much for watching, and let's get started. The short tutorial is for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, and we're going to be looking at where do you find your community folder, show you how to change its location on your PC if that's what you'd like to do, and also how to install add ons. First of all, where to find your community folder. From the home screen, we're going to be selecting the menus at the top right. Click on the shopping bag or marketplace icon and it'll bring you here. And from here we're going to select My Library. Here you can explore the contents of your sim to your heart's content. In addition to showing what packages you've got, it'll also show if they're streamed or downloaded. You'll only be able to download once the marketplace is active. Currently you'll find just about everything streamed. But we're interested in finding out where is our community folder and to do that, Next to the search bar, you'll see a small gear icon. Give that a click. And abracadabra, that's the location of your community folder. It'll vary depending on whether you've got the Steam or Store version. I'm using the Store version and the chances are you'll see exactly what I'm seeing. If we select Browse, it'll open up the folder, allowing you to see the exact location. In short, it's Users, your username, App Data Local, Packages, Microsoft Limitless with a key, local cache and packages. What a mouthful. Anyway, there is your community folder, along with two other folders. Currently, my community folder is empty. The two additional folders are official 2020 and official 2024. Don't delete these. Within each one of these folders is another folder called OneStore, and that's where your marketplace purchases will be downloaded if you opt to download them. For those of you like me that downloaded to a different location, we didn't use the default location for our install. You may be saying, hang on a minute here. It's showing me the default location, but I chose another one. Not to worry, the one that you chose is active. If you did everything correctly, from the path above, if you select Microsoft Limitless, it takes you to that directory. And here you can see actually the folders are linked. To facilitate those install programs that look for the default location and will redirect them accordingly. Of course, if you install to the default location, you don't need to worry about it. But as I didn't use the default install path, I can verify my location. I installed it on my iDrive and the install went to the WP system folder, etc., etc., through to the packages folder, and there I will find my community folder plus the two other folders that we've already covered. So if you install to a non-default path and location of the community folder is still showing default, nothing to worry about. Chances are you don't want the community folder buried in all those directories. So let's see how to relocate it. And to change the location is a very simple process. All you need to do is click on Browse, then head over to the location where you want to put your community folder, in my case, iDrive. Now the initial install will have created a number of files and folders, uh, program files, Windows apps, WP system and Xbox games. I've gone ahead and created three other folders. 2024 cache for my rolling cache, I've redirected it here. Third party downloads for anything I download directly. Now I've also created the folder com files because this is where I want to put my community folder. So I'm going to select com files. Just going to select it, not go into the folder, and then select folder. This will return us to our community information, and we'll see the new location there. Then select confirm, and you'll exit out of the menu. An important point here, now exit the sim and restart. I've now restarted my sim, and we can quickly check that. First of all, using file manager, let me go to my iDrive, confiles directory, and we can see the sim has created the three folders. Community, Official 2020, and 2024. We can also check this in Sim. Let's head back to the Marketplace. Once again, we're going to select My Library. Then next to the search bar, we're going to select the cog icon. And this time we're going to select Open. The path shown is the one that we chose. When we select Open, we can see the path is correct. It's the iDrive, Com Files, and Community folder. Job done. If at any time you want confirmation on the location of your community folder, there's one more step you can take. Selecting C drive, users, your username, app data, local, 
Then packages, I'm sure you know the drill by now. And once in the packages folder, we're going to have to find the Microsoft Limitless plus key and bunch of numbers. Then we want to select local cache. And here we'll see a number of different files. And the one we're looking for should be right at the bottom, user cfg or user config.opt. And open this with notebook. Once it's open, scroll all the way right down to the very bottom. And there you'll see install packages path. And as you can see here, it confirms it's on the iDrive and in the com files folder. You don't really need to do this, but if you are having problems, it's one place to check. And we've now changed the location successfully of our community folder. I can now confirm this is working because Navigraph fortunately have just brought out a number of updates for Microsoft 2024. And it's got a self-installer, so I'm just going to hit install on all of the options. They should now be installed. So I can go back to my file manager, open up the location of my community files, which is iDrive and com files, community, and there they are. Job done. And finally, let's have a look at how we install third-party scenery or aircraft. This is the Draco X in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, magnificent aircraft. And PMS 50 have just released the GTN 750, as well as compatibility to install it directly into the Draco X. So I went to the PMS 50 site and looked for compatible aircraft, found the Microsoft Draco X. Note it's in the second section, link in the notes below. Take care to get the right one and download it. It included two files, the PMS 50 itself and a small file to provide compatibility with the Draco X. So let's go ahead and do that. But first of all, this is the Draco X with the default cockpit. There's no GTN 750, just a GNS 430, I think that is. I've downloaded the two zip files required and placed them in my download folder. You can place them anywhere you want. As they zip files, the first thing I'm going to do is unzip them. First, the PMS 750, and then the small add-on to make the PMS 750 fit into the bezel of the Draco X. Select Extract, and it's done. Now here's a very important point and a common mistake. The unzip files have created two folders, but within each folder is another folder. The one you place in your community file must be the one that contains the content and the other information as shown. Once you've selected the correct folder, hit copy. I'm now going to paste this file into my community file, which is in my com files directory. There's the Navigraph information I put in previously. Paste, and there it is. That's one file done. Let's go and get the second file. So once again, to my downloads folder, now selecting the Draco X, making sure I get the directory with all the information in. I'm going to select copy. And once again, I'm going to copy and paste this to my community folder. So back to com files, community, and paste. Both files are in my community folder, and I should now have the GTN 750 in the Draco X. At this point, there's one tip I want to give you that may make things easier for you. Select your community folder, right click, a set of options are displayed, select show more options. It should be right there at the bottom. This in turn will open up another selection of options. Select send to and choose desktop. You may find this fairly convenient to have a shortcut on your desktop to your community folder, making it quicker and easier to access it. Double clicking the shortcut will take you straight to that community folder. Back in Sim and back in the Draco X, and straight away I can see it worked. There's the GTN 750 sitting proudly in the center there. I must say I am a fan of this add on. Everything seems to be working perfectly. And we've added a mod to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. So in this video, we've found out where our community folder is. We're able to change its location. And we know how to add third party products to the community folder. Well, all I hope this has been useful and informative. If you enjoyed it or found it useful, please give the video a thumbs up. It does help the channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Stay well, take care, see you soon, and ciao for now.